since I'm stuck here in New York in quarantine, I decided to call some of my fellow YouTubers here in New York City and ask them what they are doing at home. So we teamed up to bring you not only some entertainment, but hopefully also some inspirational ideas for what to do during the lockdown. I thought that maybe it's good that I also say something that I'm doing at home since I'm the host of this collaboration and I'm doing so many things at home but I'm probably gonna make a video specific about the things that I'm doing so for now I want to tell you one very very basic thing that I usually don't do and it is sleeping <laughs> I'm usually a big sleeper but I'm also a big worker and I usually sleep not more than eight hours if I happen to sleep more than eight hours I feel extremely guilty because I feel that that's time that I could be working or being outside doing something else now I have no duties basically so I am allowing myself to sleep on average nine hours per night which is amazing i feel rested and free of guilt and it's like a small luxury thing that i'm allowing myself to do in the morning this is our free time to rest guys sleep in one hour more why not let's go now to see what our first guest of this video is doing at home ladies and gentlemen from the greenwich village john barr Mary Jane, what a fantastic idea for a video and I want to show all of your viewers uh, something that I'm starting to do tonight. Now I love to stay in contact with all of my friends around the world during this crisis but I can't see them and we can't go out and have a drink together so we're going to have a virtual happy hour on zoom.com and we're going to see how this goes. Guys, che cheers. cheers! Hey what's up Mercy? Yeah. We got there. I was watching a news today. They're trying to open up some uh, public streets and they're going to block off cars because they want yeah, people to socially distance the themselves. Yeah. Four lines, ten blocks and... Hey, Mary Jane. What? Hey, what's up, Mary Jane? Hey, hey, MJ. What's going hey, on, Mary Jane? Hey. What's up? That was so much fun. I had eight different friends. Well, my twin brother. So seven friends and my twin brother in one group chat. I've never done something like that before. And we're already planning on doing another one on Saturday night. Just bring a drink. It's like going out to a bar or a restaurant uh, with a bunch of your friends. And uh, during these weird times, it's as close as I'm going to get to being in a public space. So uh, I'm happy that I get to take advantage of technology right now. And, uh, you know, just trying to make the best of a rough situation, just like everybody else out there. So zoom.com, highly recommend it. And I know that you wanted us to discuss uh, what we're doing with our channels right now as we can't really be making pure travel content. And uh, I'm mixing things up. I'm talking about life in New York right now. Eventually, I'm going to uh, move into possibly talking about New York City history or just revealing more about myself or even really random things like showing uh, Adriana, my wife, and myself. Uh, cooking a recipe together to show that even someone like me who's really bad at cooking could learn from her who's really good at it. Uh, just stuff like that. So yes, Mary Jane, thank you so much for having me uh, on your channel. Hope all your viewers got some cool value out of my Zoom happy hour. Thank you, John, for showing us this great idea. I find it awesome. I haven't done any group video chat yet. I've done just one by one with friends, but not in a group. And I absolutely want to try it. I think it's super fun. I don't really know Zoom, but I know that there are other services with which you can do the same thing. And they are Skype and also WhatsApp. I'm sure you can do group calls on these platforms too. I already watched your cooking video with Adriana and I was craving meatballs for the entire day after that. And I hope you're gonna do more because that was very fun. And we as humans in history have been through other epidemics and pandemics as well, but I don't know if you have thought about this. This is the very first time that we have such technological instruments with us during the pandemic that allow us to communicate with other people and to be social even if we are self-isolating. So I agree with you, John. Technology right now is giving us such a huge opportunity of keep being social, which is so important, while keep self-isolating in our homes. Great idea, John. But let's go now to our next guest from Queens, from the channel Urbanist Ariel. 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 Hey, Mary.
Mary Jane. Hope all is well during this period of self-isolation. I'm not sure if I ever told you, but ever since I was the age of five years old, I dreamt of making huge sci-fi epic films. And now, during this period of self-isolation, since I'm stuck at home, I decided to fully pursue that dream. Many of you might know me as Urbanist. I explore the history of cities and food all around the world. And history and telling those stories has really informed me as a storyteller. And now, after telling more than 2,000 stories from 13 different cities all around the world, I feel like I'm ready to start writing a movie. So right now, at this very moment in time, I'm writing my first ever sci-fi short screenplay. However, it is a multi-step process. So what I'm doing at home, I'm starting with writing notes, any ideas that come into my head about the story structure and how it's all supposed to come together towards the end. And also a whole lot of reading, yep. A bunch of books I'm reading in order to truly get different ideas and kind of fill them out in my movie. And I'm absolutely grateful to have the chance to be in my laptop in my cozy room writing about sci-fi world. Mary Jane, thank you so much for putting this together. I'm curious what other people are doing. This is such a great example of how to leverage this quarantine the best way possible. For the ones of you who are lucky enough to have an idea for a project that goes through your mind for a few months, or a few years even, now is really the right time to start doing it. And I remember, Ariel, the very first time we met here in New York, you were telling me about your dreams and aspirations, and I clearly remember that you wanted to write your first sci-fi film, so I'm really happy to hear that you now started writing it. Good luck with that! Our next guest from New York City is Jennifer O'Brien. Hi, Jennifer! Ciao Mary Jane, mille grazie, thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for being on my channel. Thank you, you are so great for organizing this. I'm so glad you did. Also half Italian, so uh, my family, my grandmother was born in Puglia and I speak very rusty Italian. Uh, so I'm just honored and totally wanna to collab again, but let's get into it. I am so excited to be sharing a little mini pancake tutorial. I know there are a bunch of recipes out there and other things and I am not a chef. This is why I think this is the best time for, you, for me to make New York City shaped pancakes. And you can laugh at them because some of them will not turn out well. Who dropped my phone. Right now I just wanna share things that make me happy that will hopefully make you happy. And for me, I love making pancakes. I'm gonna show you my process of how you can have fun with pancakes, which is one of the simplest things to make because there are such limited ingredients. I think it's flour and I really, I will put that here because I'm not 100% sure what the actual ingredients are. I just bought the one that said add water and that's what I can deal with right now. Enough talking, let's get into the pancake making now. Step one, if you're like me, I never measure, I just eye it and add water to the pancake mix. Step two, use a cooking spray for even non-stick coverage. Step three, turn on the stove. Step four, prepare a photo of the shape Step five, use a spoon to transfer some of the batter into a plastic bag. Step six, cut a small corner of the plastic bag to create a cheaper pastry or piping bag that bakers would use for icing a cake, for example. Step seven, first outline the shape of the pancake and the darker lines of the shape because the first batter on the hot pan will be the darker part of your image. Wait before adding more batter for the lighter parts to create natural shading. Note, if you want an easier way to outline shapes, I also did this recently where I filled a plastic bag instead with Nutella to outline the shape on the already cooked pancakes in the shapes of the Empire State Building and Chrysler Building. Step eight, don't forget chocolate chips. P.S. I made a few mistakes today and I hope you learn from them. If you want to make a big pancake shape, try one in a pan, not two. I always seem to run out of room when I try to do two fun shapes at the same time. Also, if you're writing out letters like my super cute I love NY pancake, uh, make sure you wait long enough before adding the lighter part in the background. 
And if you're writing something, write it backwards or else it will look like this, not this. Lastly, simple shapes are best. Think Mickey Mouse or even a New York slice of pizza. I also sometimes totally mess up on my pancakes. It's, it's trial and error. I first tried with like Nutella on the pan, learned the hard way that Nutella burns on the pan. So I just, I, I hope you learn from my mistakes, laugh at them, have fun, get distracted, and just have fun with it. Okay, Mary Jane, back to you. Who's next? Jennifer, I loved your creativity with these pancakes. That's such a fantastic idea to have fun at home. It is also something that you do with your hands, which I always suggest to do because I think we need to go back to using our hands a little bit. So thank you very much for your fun contribution. And let's go now to our next guest. I'm sure many of you know her already, but this is the first time that she appears on my channel. So welcome to my channel, Sarah. Hey everyone, it's Sarah. I am just thinking of new ideas, maybe doing some recipes. <laughs> I'm also planning some future tours. I have a bunch of tour books here. Um, so right now I'm actually reading this book. This one's super thick. Look at that. 1,236 pages on this bad boy right here. And this just talks about the history of New York City to 1898. One book if you're trying to get your New York inspo. I loved Gangs of New York. I mean, there's so many interesting stories here that are all true. And I think going back to the history books and reading these things during times like this has really made me realize we'll be fine. New York, we'll be fine. And also move into my new apartment. Um, I'll give you a quick tour of my office while we're here. The reason that I have an office in my apartment, which is not normal in New York City, is because both Louie and I work from home. This is my desk on this side. This right here is a piece of art by a local New York artist called Dennis Ouch. It shows all the bike routes in the city. He spray painted the Statue of Liberty over it. And I think it's really beautiful and it fits the vibe of you know, my office being New York centric. This is Louie's desk, my husband. My little tripod, that's where I normally set up the camera. That's my day, you know, making the best of the situation. Hope you guys are doing good too. Don't worry, we're gonna make it through this. Sarah, I love how you pointed out that reading history sometimes broaden our perspective and makes us understand that what is going on has happened before we've gone through it. It's not the end of the world. And also guys, Tara has recently published on her channel a great video about couples who are quarantined together because she's very used to live 24 hours since a couple of years with her boyfriend. And I thought she gave very great tips in that video. So go check it out if you want. That's all for today, guys. I thank so much all my YouTuber collaborators for participating to this video and please you will find all their channels linked down below. If you knew them already, just go to their channels and say hi from my behalf. Say hi from Mary Jane. And if you don't know them yet, go check out their channels. You might discover your new favorite YouTuber. I have many ideas for next videos to do from home, but I haven't chosen yet which one I'm gonna do next. But I promise you that you're gonna see me in a few days with a new video. And before that, probably I'm gonna make another live stream in a couple of days. I'll keep you updated. Bye!